I'm Laura Roeder answering the question, how do I get those really big audio and video files onto my WordPress website? So, WordPress has a way to upload any sort of media file on the media section on the left-hand side, but you might have found that if you try to upload a really big video or audio file that way, it won't let you. It'll give you an error message. So here's what you want to do instead. You need to use the file uploader or file manager or online FTP or whatever it's called from your web hosting company. So when you go into your control panel of your web host, you're going to see one of these things. It'll be called something different depending on the web host that you use. If you can't find it, just call your web hosting company and ask them how to do online FTP. If you call it that, they'll know what you're talking about. And it'll usually be called file manager or something like that. So you, this is the easiest way to do it. You can also use an FTP program if you know what that is. A little more complicated, I'm telling you the, the easiest way if you're not a super technical person. So log into your web hosting control panel, find the file manager or file uploader or online FTP program, go in there and upload your audio file or video file to your web hosting service. A lot of people don't realize that your web hosting is just file storage that you can use for any file. So your web host is a folder on the internet, just like a folder on your computer. You know how in a folder in your computer you can put in an audio file or you can put in a PDF or you can put in a Word doc. It's the same thing with your web host. You can upload Word docs, PDFs, videos. You can upload absolutely any type of file to your web hosting account and it's just going to move that file from your computer to the web where more people can access it. So after you upload the file, you need to find the location of that file. And again, this works just like the location of files on your computer. So you know on your computer you can see that this is in you know the Laura folder, forward slash music, forward slash downloads. It's the same thing on the web. You're putting it in a certain folder and you need to know what folder that is to get the location or the URL of the file. So Again, this will be different depending on the file manager or online FTP program that you use, but it'll have a way for you to get the address of that file or figure it out. Again, if you can't figure this one out, call your web hosting company as your best uh, resource. So after you found that file, so it'll be something like laurarotor.com forward slash files forward slash music, you know, laura.mp3. It'll be a whole name of a file starting with your website, http laurarotor.com, ending with whatever file name you have, laura.mp3. That's the whole URL that you need to copy and paste that you need to grab. So once you have your file uploaded to the web, to put it into WordPress, you can either just make it a link, and so you can link to any file. A lot of people don't know this. When you're just making a regular link in WordPress, using the little, it looks like a little chain, you know, represents a link. In WordPress, you don't have to link to a web page. You can also link to any sort of file. Again, PDF, audio, video, PowerPoint, it doesn't matter, any sort of file that you've uploaded. So you can just make a link to the file, or you can use an audio player or a video player in order to let people play the file on your website. Uh, I like to use Flow Player, F-L-O-W, for videos. If there's a really good WordPress plugin just called Audio Player, plain, uh, just Audio Player, that you can use for audio, but just Google audio player WordPress plugin, video player WordPress plugin, and you're gonna find a bunch of stuff. So the steps for hosting a big file on your WordPress site are, you need to upload the file to your web hosting account using online FTP, using file manager, file uploader, whatever they call it. Then you need to grab the URL of that file, which is going to start with your website name and end with the file name. And you need to go to your WordPress site and either paste that in as a link or paste it in using an audio player or a video player or whatever is appropriate to that file type. So again, I'm Laura Roeder. That's how you get a big audio or video file onto your WordPress site.